All right, so Valorant is whack, but I like it. Now, before you make any assumptions of my skill, I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I am complete dog. I planted. Oh, no. oh fuck! This. This is terrible. Hellfire. What the? Last player standing. Uh, Last player standing. How does that not hit head? Oh. <laughs> what are you aiming at? Oh, oh shit! At this point, it was just who reloaded faster. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about the basics of Valorant. If you have not played CS:GO or Overwatch, this game is already gonna feel overwhelming. Luckily, Valorant only has four maps out currently for you to remember, and the callouts are pretty general and easy to remember. Furthermore, there's a total of 12 playable operators that we'll go over with some detail. This game emphasizes the meta of the shift in the crouch, which is ultimately used to sneak up on your enemies and to make sure that your bullet spread is kept to a minimum. Headshot. One enemy remaining. Even though this game seems futuristic, fall damage Don't still occurs. Oh god, I didn't realize there was fall damage in this game. And while one would assume engineers would figure out a way to solve recoil by the time it was 2100, I guess not. <laughs> How does that- How does that? Why? How is that? And may I just say, a frustrating element of this game is that headshots aren't yeah. always killed. One. Revealing area. Try me, bitch. I hit him in the head! How does that happen? Mid, mid rope. <sighs> Last player standing. How did I uh I'm gonna say this Oh, I hit her in the head? And finally there's the inconsistent hit recognition, which seems to frustrate me every time I get fight planted. I don't even really have to put that many rounds into the guy. Enemy remaining. Off your feet! Oh my god. 30 seconds left. Spike on me. I, I, I what? I whipped. Now putting the negatives aside, this game was actually really fun to play and I enjoyed playing with the diversity of operators this game had to offer. Now speaking of operators, I actually got to experience a great right, variety of them while playing Valorant, including that of Phoenix, a duelist who wields fire. Now Phoenix is one of two duelists within the game of Valorant alongside Jet, but the reason that really sold me on him was simply the voice acting with this guy. B guy down. Now beyond the voice acting, Phoenix has a load of abilities that you can use that in Valorant, flash including that of his special ability, Run It Back, which allows him a second chance of life that can make him an aggressive operator in special situations. Furthermore, he has yeah. access to three other abilities, including his Firewall, which can be used to disrupt the enemy vision or heal himself, his yeah. Fireball, which you can that? toss at enemies, 
to essentially create a ranged uh, attack or ultimately you can toss on yourself to heal yourself and finally there's the curveball which you can toss around corners to create a flash bang that disrupts enemy vision next we have jet the knife slinging slasher from south korea and the other duelist within the game of Valorant. Now I can't help but be reminded of Ash whenever I play this operator, considering that this operator is all about agility and speed. Now Jet's special ability is floating knives, which she can throw one at a time or all six of them consecutively at an enemy of her choice. And besides her special ability, she also has three other abilities that ultimately give her positions of leverage when presented on the battlefield. Now Jet's Three Thank abilities you. really oh complement her playstyle. First here, off, there's boy. the dash, which can ultimately thrust yourself from the enemies and take them by surprise, getting you so close that you have little chance of missing oh, yeah. shots. Second off, there's the jump, which can get you to higher elevation points that can take the enemies by surprise as no one else can reach them. Finally, there's smoke clouds, which you can ultimately deploy to cover angles that attackers or defenders might take up on you to hit your blind side, which for how aggressive this offer is placed is a very big reassurance. Next up is the Boots on the Brown Brigadier General from the United States, Brimstone. And let me just say that he was a very fun operator to play. Now what's ironic, <coughs> not, is the fact that the US operator has a special ability that brings down a deadly arsenal from the sky. Now Brimstone is equipped with three abilities that are unique to his conservative playstyle. The first one is that of a stim beacon, which when dropped and deployed, ultimately creates a zone in which increases your fire rate of you and your teammates, though I honestly don't find this ability too prevalent. The second off is an incendiary cannon that when launched, bounces twice before damaging, which can not only hurt the enemy but yourself, so be careful. Finally, his most prevalent ability is basically smoke class, which using the same map used for the deadly arsenal, can be launched from almost anywhere on the map and can cut off choke points that allow you to push up or just cut off choke points in which the enemy might attack from. Next we have Sage, who is the Chinese support op that for some reason thinks that she is a mountain. Now Sage is considered a sentinel within the game of Valorant, and this essentially is a support class that's aimed at supporting your teammates, whether it be through health or barricades or whatever. In this situation, Sage is a healer that can actually bring people back from the dead, which consists of talking about her main ability. Now Sage's ability to revive a teammate is very important in giving yourself an advantage in any situation. Whether you actually be down 1v4 or 1v3 or you're tied or say you actually have advantage, adding another teammate to your arsenal is only going to help increase your chances of the win, which is very important. And that's not to say that Sage doesn't also have three other abilities that complement your support playstyle. Now Sage's first ability is an Ice Wall, which you can put up to cut off choke points that defenders might use against them or attackers might surprise them from, and this can help when cornering the attacker defense strategy. Second off, she also has these Ice Balls that she can throw to essentially create an area of slowing, and this can ultimately slow down enemy attacks or prevent defenders from pushing up on you. Finally, she has the ability to heal, and she can use this on herself with right click, or she can use it on others with left click, and this can help when trying to keep your teammates health up, especially in the later end of the round. Now the final operator we're going over in detail and the last one given to all players is Sova, an initiator from the tundra of Russia. Now Sova's special ability is a supercharged bow that can shoot through any surface and hit the enemies on the other side. This is really cool because this ability can almost make cover non-existent and in the right hands this ability can be deadly. Now Sova is ultimately supported by three abilities that really help us initiate our playstyle, including that of a tracking guard, which can ultimately bounce up to twice and reveal yes, anyone within its area of impact. Now, his other ability is that of the shark dart. Now the shark dart I didn't find as much practicality with, but ultimately in the right hands it can slow down and create an easy kill. Finally, we have the owl drone, which ultimately when used can reveal the enemy's position and shoot fire bolts at the hands of Sova. Now after playing for a while, you'll be able to recruit your own agent, and you will have plenty of choices to choose from, including that of Reyna, which is a clutch goddess that can ultimately seal off people's vision or steal health from them after she kills them, Omen, who ultimately can deploy large black clouds of smoke and can teleport behind the enemy's vision. Also, there's Rays, who ultimately deploys his boss that can basically act as deployable C4s when they get close to the enemy. But in the end, I end up choosing Cypher, and that's the one I'm going to go into detail a little bit about. 
Now, Cypher's main ability requires you to kill an enemy, in which you can then hack their brain to reveal every enemy's position on the map. And this only happens once, so you're going to need to capitalize on the position once the pain goes down, which means this character needs to be in coordination with his team. Now, like Sage, Cypher is a sentinel that supports his teams with his traps. One of those traps is a disc you can throw against the wall or the floor that ultimately sets the track of being into the person who reveals their position. By revealing their position, people sitting around corners can ultimately take advantage of these traps and get easy kills on the exact way the enemy is at. Cypher also has a cage you can throw down and deploy, which when someone enters gives off a sound cue and an outline for you to take advantage of. Finally, Cypher also has a camera you can deploy against the wall, which ultimately sets tracking beeps into the person through shooting people. And when you shoot people inside the tracker in, you know exactly where they are, so as long as they don't take the tracking dart. Now, thank you guys for watching this base tutorial on Valorant. I'm going to be making content with this, so I kind of want to introduce my fan base to what it's like to play and encourage people to play, because it was a really enjoyable game. Um, sorry for not uploading as much, uh, school has been getting, getting to me, and I needed to kind of double down it, but I'm going to get back to my schedule, I swear. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, and I'm going to leave you with a montage to go. Stay good, Halums, and have a good day. Get out of here. Fight plan. Last player standing. Nice try, kid. No more. One enemy remaining. Get out of here. Fight planted. One enemy remaining. The hunt begins. Oh. Last player standing. The room's lit. That guy's one enemy remaining. Oh, shit. I've survived much worse than you. Thank you.